Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome to episode 4.2 of creating a space shooter with Godot. So I'm just going to real quickly go over the basics of that vector math we did with that direction vector, that dervec we had, and kind of explain why normalized does what we want it to do. Why does it make our speed proper in the diagonal direction? So let's take a look at the movement code that we first wrote without all that vector stuff, where we just added to the x and y of the velocity. Well, if we set our velocity.x to whatever our speed was, let's say our speed was 10, then that's fine. We're going to be moving to the right at a speed of 10. But if we were to move diagonally up and we set velocity.x and dot y equal to the speed, 10 and 10, then we're really moving on this diagonal line here. So what actually is the length of this diagonal line? Because it's clearly not 10. Now if you've ever heard of something called the Pythagorean Theorem, you have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we can calculate the length of this diagonal right here. And if we do that math, which I wrote out over here, we eventually calculate, based on this being a length of 10 and this being a length of 10, that we're really moving at a speed of 14.14. That's way faster than the speed of 10 that we were expecting. And that's what was bothering me. I don't like having a faster speed when my player is moving diagonally. So then we brought in that vector stuff to help fix this. And we did something called normalizing. And a normalized vector will always have a length of 1. Unless the vector was 0 to begin with, then usually the implementation just keeps it at 0. Anyways, let's take a look at horizontal movement only. So in this case, we set this dervec this vector that we created, we set the x component equal to positive 1, and we set the y component equal to 0, and that means we're just moving to the right. So if we take the length from point 0, 0, which is where all the vectors start, to whatever the x and y coordinate of this direction vector is, we can see that the length is just 1. So when we normalize it, nothing changes it. The length of the vector was already 1, so it stays the same. So when we multiply this x by our speed, we effectively just get our speed in the x direction, and then we multiply this by our speed for the y direction, and we get zero, because we're not moving up or down. But the second that we start moving diagonally, things change. We set x in the direction vector to 1, and y in the direction vector to 1, meaning we want to move diagonally this way. So similar to the last example, the length from 0, 0, the origin point of all the vectors, of every vector, to whatever the x and y coordinate is of our direction vector, right here, which is 1 comma 1 way up here, the length of that is 1.414. That's not equal to 1. So when we do direction vector dot normalize, what the vector does is it adjusts the x and y position to make sure that the length of the vector stays at 1. So it'll actually approximately make it equal to 0.707 on the x and 707 on the y. And now if you did Pythagorean theorem with those numbers and you calculated the length, you would actually get 1. So this normalized function here simply shrinks this diagonal vector a little bit to make its length equal to 1. So now when we actually move, we multiply our speed by 0 0.707 for the x direction. So we're actually moving a little slower in the x direction, but since we're also moving in the y direction, we're going to move a little slower in the y direction also, and it'll effectively equal out to be the speed that we want it to be at and no faster. So I hope that cleared some things up for those of you who are curious. Um, if you have other questions or you want to learn more about vectors, then looking into some vector math or linear algebra might be a little bit helpful for you. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.